Hi, this is Dr. Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm in San Jose at the Conversion Conference West, the first of its kind, with Jacob Nielsen, a pioneer in the field of usability. And uh, Jacob, it's great to see you. Last time I saw you was at the Billion Dollar Summit that Jay Abraham put on in the year 2000. And uh, a lot of water under the bridge since then as far as the internet is concerned. Definitely. Uh, what I'd like to ask you about today, uh, from particularly a small business website kind of approach is, do I have enough traffic to conduct a valid test? And this whole issue of you know, the qualitative and the quantitative and how they work together. Right. I think it's very important to recognize they do work together. There are two different types of measurements you can do. One is real measurement with, with numbers, also called quantitative. And the other one is a more qualitative or insight-based test. And so we talk a lot about doing user testing, where you get one customer in at a time. So it's not like a focus group where you have a, a group of people. It's just one person at a time. So that's the smallest sample you can mm -hmm. get. And it's too small to only, only look at one person. Yeah. But you would look at maybe five people in a day. And that small number is actually enough to get a lot of insights into how your customers mm -hmm. use your site what's good, what's bad, and so forth. I think a lot of people are afraid of this whole thing because one, they don't know how to do it, and two, they think it must be some massive thing. But you're saying five people will I help you learn a huge amount yeah. of what you need to learn. Right, the vast majority of what you need to know, you can get out of five people. Okay. Then there are always some small extra sure. tweaks and stuff. Sure. And, and actually, when you want to get really precise, that's when you need thousands of people and, and run these more analytical approaches where you can measure the difference between do you have 1% more or less uh, from making your buy button you know, mm -hmm. orange instead of red. And that's important too, but, but the big, big, big insights are typically so big that, you, that they're obvious once you look. But you have to look. Mm -hmm. You can't sit, sit back at home and wonder. You've got to look at the so actual customers. So let's say I, I bring in five people who are part of my target audience. What kinds of things do I have them do? What do what's, how do I participate in this as the site owner? Right. Um, the main thing is to have them do realistic tasks. So you cannot tell, ask people, take a look at my site. Do you like it? Well, they always say they like it because they're polite. But they have to do something. And, and in doing something, that's where you, they, you can see them being tripped up, or they will say, well, I wouldn't really want to do this in this site because, you know, whatever the reason. Uh, so so would doing you, things is really important. Would you list five tasks to complete in the site and give them the list ahead of time, or do you give them the, those one by one after they complete? Or how we, do you do Yeah, it? we only give people one task at a okay. time, and the reason is that people are very different in how fast they are. So one person might be able to do maybe even 10 things in an hour. We typically run these sessions for an hour. Uh, and other people might only be able to do two, but if you give them a set of five, they'll feel very in inadequate by having failed oh, okay. the last three. Yeah. And you know, just people are just okay. different, so it's not a failure. So as you start something like this, figure out what, what do I really want people to uh, be able to accomplish and then uh, watch them accomplish a, a series of tasks one at a time. Exactly. So if I'm the site owner or the developer, where do I sit during this? Where do mm -hmm. they sit and what interaction do we have? Right. Um, typically, we would just sit right next to the user, so we, they will sit at the computer, they will have their hands on the keyboard, the hand on the mouse, and you, we call them the facilitator, the person facilitating the study, will just sit right next, so maybe a little bit back, uh, so that they don't, you don't intrude on them too much, mm -hmm. and they kind of focus on the computer. Uh, this is if you're doing a small study. Now, if you're doing it in a more elaborate corporate setting, we would typically do it more in a one-way mirror, special laboratory, okay. but you really do not need that. Okay. That's only if you want to have 10 people sit on a watch because then you're going to stick them behind the mirror. Now, do I, do, do I allow them to ask me questions or how does that work? Well, they can, they can ask the questions, but you cannot answer them. Because, <laughs> because it's, it's very valuable to know what they would like to know, but if you tell them the answer, then they wouldn't get it from the site. And the okay. question is that the study is, can they find out from the site? So if they ask, can I do such and such, you say, you can do whatever you want. If they, if they ask, uh, is such and such a case, you say, well, try to find out. And so you never really I give see. them the answer. You'll like yeah. bounce it right back and, to them. And you encourage them to talk about what they're seeing. They should think okay. out loud. Do Keep up a running monologue. Do you record something like this? Yes, we'll typically record it uh, on the computer uh, and also with a little webcam. Um, but 
that's not actually really necessary. The only okay. thing you have to have is a notepad. Just take notes, and you, I guarantee you will scribble down entire notepads full of changes to your site. So this is the today. minimalist view of user testing, but it's, it, it brings a great deal of valuable results with just five people. Yeah. Now let me ask you, there's a program out there called usertesting.com. Right, right. uh, what are the pros and cons of that compared to a face-to-face, -face, well, <laughs> sitting beside the person, <laughs> uh, as you see it? Right. Well, I think the, the plus is that it's even easier to do because you don't have to get these people to come into your office. You can just sit at home and you kind of like request the study. Now the downside is, actually there's sort of two downsides. The first is that you don't have as detailed a screening and recruiting criteria. So usually we want to be very particular about who we get in to I be see. really sure they're really truly in our target audience. Mm -hmm. uh, not just like the general public, but right. the very specific people. Uh, the second thing is that when you sit next to people, you just kind of get much more from them than if you just get a recording of what they did. Okay. Which is why I say we do record it, but the recording is really secondary. The primary is being with the person, seeing them, also just like actually, yeah, literally seeing them, seeing their their posture, their their <laughs> shock, their their frustration. Frustrations, quite often, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for sharing with us. <laughs> Simple tip, but huge upside if you do it. Tell me about your business and what you do. Uh, my company is called Nielsen Norman Group and we do these type of user test studies. And so we do them for companies as consulting, but we also publish re reports with our findings and we also have a conference uh, several times a year where you can come and learn how to do it yourself. So I would certainly recommend people go to that called Usability Week, a full week's worth of all this stuff. And you have a blog that comes out every couple weeks. Tell me about that. Uh, that is called useit.com. And it's every two weeks, a regular newsletter that comes out with an article about some of the things we found in all the research. So, yeah, that's for free, and people should definitely read that. It, it's something I read regularly and learn little tidbits that you picked up on.